Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the integer n and the n integer values and print the input sequence till an integer value is repeated its value times as the output. So we'll understand it clearly with our first test case. So here we have 10 integers and this is the 10 integer values. So now let's see how we get our output. So first we have 2, so 2 is occurring for the first time. So we'll have it and then we have 3. From first 3 is also occurring first time. So we'll have them and then we have 4 which is occurring for the first time and then we have 5 which is also occurring for the first time. And then we have 3 which is occurring the second time from the first so after that we have again 3 so 3 times 3 is occurring that is an integer value is repeated its value times so since 3 is occurred for 3 times we will stop it here and this will be our output so we'll take our another test case. So in this test case we have 10 integer values. So first we have 2 and then we have 1. So 1 is occurring for once. So we'll stop here and this will be our output. Now let us implement our program. First we'll get our input n and then we'll get the n integers as integers list and then We'll have a empty list called current list where we are going to append the values. So now we'll iterate over the integer list that is for val in integer list. We'll append the current list with the value and if the value is equal to equal to the current list count means then we'll break the loop and we'll print the asterisk current list so this is the condition now let us execute our program we'll pass our first test case so yes we have got the correct output now we'll pass our another test case so here also we have got the correct output Now we'll pass another test case and here also we have got the correct output. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. <laughs> Hope you
Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.